In this video I will show you how we can uh, use an arc to dim an LED on a breadboard. So something like this. First we will need to create an arc. And then we will need to set some of the properties uh, like give it a name. So we'll give it a name. Set, set the size to 215 by 215 centralize it once we have centralized it we need to set the range in this case we want 0 to 100 set the default value to 0 and then we also need to make sure that this starts at the correct angle in this case it's fine 120 by 60 Now we will need to set some of the properties for the arc so it looks a bit more nicer. So we'll go to style, default, and then we will set some of the properties. Note an arc has uh, two arc. One is the background arc and one is the indicator arc. So now we will set the background arc prop, uh, styles. So default arc set the width to something like 20 uh, we don't want this to be rounded so click on rounded remove that and set a color it can be anything you like uh, so now if you run it you'll see that as you can see this is this is not matching that so we will need to change that too so if you go to the indicator default arc set that to match the background arc again we don't want that to be rounded the indicator so we will uh, uncheck this set the color to something you like now if you run it so this is the background arc that's the indicator arc and that's the knob we don't want to see the knob so we will go to st st the knob style part default and set the opacity to zero knob oh sorry it's not an arc it only has two arcs the main arc which is the background arc and the indicator arc so default background opacity zero now if you run it now we will add a scale so go to visualizers scale S give it a name something to match like scale zero to one hundred Set the size to something like 175 to 175. Make this uh, rounded inner so the labels appear inside. Centralize it. A little bit more. Uh, 
set the number of, of set the range from 0 to 100 set the total number of ticks you can leave it as 31 or change it so the number appears as 20 40 60 80 and 100 now we will need to set few more uh, styles for the scale so first we will go to style items items is the uh, the small text and the uh, indicator is the long tick and the label so we set the style of this so we want to set the length so leave it at 5 length 5 and the line color something you like so here now we will do the same for the indicator part the indicator and the text so same default indicator default you can set the line to whatever you want to do that you just go there so 10 or 12 seems fine and then we set the line color and we'll also need to change the text color here so we'll go to indicator default text set the color now I will add an LED this will just uh, as we move the indicator this will brighten up or go down give it a name set the size 80 by 80 centralize it set color whichever whatever color you like I'm leaving it as default blue and brightness to the max it goes between 0 and 255 the other thing I'm going to do is go to background set the style for this LED so style main default background so set the opacity to 0 so it looks like a ring also note uh, the scale finishes starts here however our arc is starting here so the default angle for the scale is uh, it goes from 135 to 45 degrees so typically this is where the this is the zero for LVGL uses the three o'clock mark as zero so this is 120 and this is 135 so we need to change that angle to start at 135 and then this is 0 so this is 45 so and angle at 45 add a label to show the value of the arc as it moves along so give it a name set the value to 0 set the size of it to 80 by 20 so change that to pixels now if you go to main default text and change the color and set the font so style default text color give it, a, give it a, set something some color you like you can change the font to something larger and then align the uh, text to the center so it doesn't jump around too much 
no this is the default font you can also use uh, custom fonts so to something like this uh, I have a video on uh, how to add and use custom fonts so uh, if you want to use custom font you can view that video when the go is ready all we have to do is save build once the build is done we need to copy all the C files from our easy project into the Arduino sketch created earlier paste it and now if you go to your Arduino sketch you see all the files have been loaded so go to screens.c the only thing I had to change here is uh, some reason it, it keeps setting the default value to something not zero so uh, all I had to do is under scales no, under, under arc theme as zero to 100 I had to add this line so it sets the default value to zero and now we will be using uh, pin number 22 for this one so LED pin number 22 and in this case we will be using the P3 extended input output so LED pin 22 would be the yellow wire we need to set the pin mode so LED pin 22 to output register an event handler for arc dima 0 to 100 this is the event handler and this is only called into action when this event is generated so every time we move the arc the value changes and we want to update this label with the uh, value the arc dimmer event handler is just the normal uh, like everything else the code that was generated the target that created it the arc is the arc and the label we, will, we passed in here so this is the label here we're checking if it's the event value changed event we're getting the arc value I remember note the arc value has been set to 0 to 100 but the LED value actually goes from 0 to 255 so we will need to do we will use the map function so we want to get the arc value which is from 0 to 100 and map it to 0 to 255 then we will write the value and set the uh, label to the brightness uh, also we're setting the LED opacity to same as brightness so it goes uh, uh, brighter and less brighter as we move the arc and that's it now if you just click on uh, upload you should you should see uh, we can uh, now use the arc to control the LED as a dimmer. Thank you. We will use the P3 extended input output this one. So this is the wire that came with the cheap yellow display. So plug that in. the wires we will use is the yellow one so that wire yellow one that's pin number 22 so that will go into the resistor's leg and then the
the black wire is the ground and we will connect that to the LED LED. That's it. 